Rights Survivors of 2020, please welcome our musical guests for this evening, Christoph, St. Christoph yes, and Shay. Dude, you got to get my... Title, right? <laughs> Loyalty. We got I worked, I'm a saint. I worked hard for that. Nobility <laughs> yeah, no. in the house. It takes a while to get knighted a saint. Knighted. Well, yeah, you, have to, you have to be dead for a few hundred years, too. I mean, why are you so <laughs> shamed? Well, that why am I, why am I so shamed? Yeah, you could knight, we could knight you tonight if you like. You know him. You know why he's not so <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take me your song. Hi. <laughs> So ready. We're going straight in. Oh, we're yeah. Going straight in. No foreplay, no nothing. Just no. Man, no drinks. drinks. This is why you, you don't, you're not called Sir. <laughs> 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 All right, so it seems like the track is being cooked as we speak. Ooh. Yeah. They're making it. <laughs> yeah, you'd think we would have finished it before we got here. <laughs> Bro, that's how it is now with production. 2020. Production and how easy it is for the young kids the to do it, right? No, but thanks for having us on. They've already done a remix of your track in the break. <laughs> Oh, here we are. Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Stick it out now. Tell me how it feel. I never met a girl made me feel like that. Her brain's so good with her ass like take that back. I must be tripping. Because all day long I've been sitting here wishing. To be in your world, to be in your spot. Man, I'll be goddamn because you got me got tick tock. That time be ticking. Because mama didn't raise no punk that's giving now. Can I get to know ya? Yeah, for real, I'll take you round that world and... I could do it for ya Best believe I'll be that man So put me on, put me on Girl, can you put me on? I'll be singing that same damn song I mean no disrespect when I say Stick it out now, tell me how it feel Yeah Let me take you where you wanna Yeah You make me holler Let's take a drive to California All night yeah. Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Stick it out now, tell me how it feel. I think I'm getting that deja vu. Cause girls like you be running my mind all day. And look me like Rhonda, who? But they be all gone each time I see your face. I think we need just us two. And we can touch down on runways far away. I'm talking like world debut. Cause love brand new don't last that long, so wait. Can I get to know ya? Yeah, for real, I'll take you round that world and I can do it for ya. Best believe I'll be that man, so put me on. Yeah, I make it last so long. The sun goes down and the street lights on. I mean no disrespect when I say, stick it out now, tell me how it feel. Hey, yeah. Let me take you where you wanna. Feel good, don't it? <laughs> you make me holler. Let's take a drive to California. All night, yeah. Check. Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Stick it out now. Tell me how it feel. We made it here so far, from the front seat to the back seat, love. Every new town got me pulling over the Holiday Inn to the beach house. Uh, uh. I'm just a daydreamer Cause when we wake up and the day's all gone You be right there like I just met ya And I'll be right here just singing this song Rhonda Yeah Let me take you where you wanna Feels good, don't it? <laughs> you make me holler <laughs> Let's take a drive to California California, baby All night Rhonda Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Stick it out now, tell me how it feels. Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Is it real now? Tell me, is it real? Stick it out now, tell me how it feels. St. Christoph and Shade. It feels Jesus. good, babe. Viewers, if you have questions for these two sexy motherfuckers, get them <laughs> ready because we're going to take a break and we are going to be back. Feels good, baby. <laughs> See ya. Uh-huh. Eventually. Welcome back, freaks, to forget <laughs> about Dre. You just witnessed the sounds of St. Christoph and Shade. History mm -hmm. in the making. Yeah, they look that. different now. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, how did you tell me you're real? Much it's better, the, much better looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a face swap app. <laughs> it is. We've got it live. We've got it live. It's, uh, guys. Nice. Man, that was a dope track. Thank you. Fucking Thank dope you. track. Now, you guys, like, individually work on some boss tracks. Totally different styles. Totally different styles. What led you to join forces like Bobby and Whitney? <laughs> <laughs> who's Bobby and who's Whitney? I, I think um, 
You, Would you want me I'm to take this bummed. one? Yeah, yeah, you can take it. You can take it. You can take it. Well, we've written together for years. We've written a lot for other people. And we just accidentally wrote that track one day and just went, stumbled. let's do this heaps because <laughs> we both like it a lot. You know, and that was <laughs> it's literally that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. I mean, like, like yeah, that tr that track was actually. Um, I mean, we've been writing together since I've, as long as I've been in Sydney for like nearly ten years. Wow. Um, our pub I we both got signed to the same publisher, which was Ministry of Sound at the time. Um, they put us together as their new writing team, Hope for Pop Writers, which didn't go too well for them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we wrote some. We've written some good tracks. We've written some good fucking tracks though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, under probably about 10 million different aliases. And it's always been like features or tracks for people or tracks for whatever. Um, and we did this, we did this track as a follow up for, a tr for another. Um, oh, I should know. I should know. Well, I'm getting used technique. to big black things in my face as oh, well, too. So. I, was, I was a bit intimidated. <laughs> by Feels it, natural for I'll me. put my mouth on it if you like. Shout out um, to Woods. Yes. Yeah, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Wow, I'm too, uh, I'm too innocent for this stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a saint. Anyway, you know what? Like, I, I I'm going to give a big shout out to our our label, Be Rich, yeah. at the moment because and our manager um, guy who has to put up with me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> pretty much <laughs> like he he heard the track, which was a follow up to another track, um, and he was like, "Listen, I really, I fuck with this like really hard," and was like, "We, I want you guys to do this as a as a as an artist thing." Um, and I was, I mean, these guys were, were on, on my ass for like ages, like, yo, come into the studio, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And I was like, yeah, 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 cool. And then I just realized how serious everyone was because I mean, we've been writing for 10 years. So it's mm. like, okay, cool. We write tracks, we write tracks, but everyone was like really serious. Like we want you to do this as an act. So we're like, okay, cool. Um, and we've turned that into, I mean, we've lit, we've got like a, at least a dozen tracks in there, so much kicking around, ready to go now. Um, and we turned it into an artist like project. So for, for us, it's not, it's different to being a songwriter. I mean, Chris really kicked this out of me. He was like, listen, I want you to approach this as an artist, like not a songwriter. And I'd, I would drop verses and he's like, no, nah, fuck that. Like that's, that's you make too me sound that's, so mean. That's but too, but he, was, but he was like, that's too pedestrian. <laughs> that's too walking the park. I need you to be an artist. I need you to just that's do so what's good, natural, uh, which is cool. You need guys. Everybody I mean, needs yeah. to see Christoph. <laughs> well, which is, which, man, which is really cool because I mean, like this, this is what it's turned into, and we've got like a whole bunch of tracks to follow this up as well. We'll probably be dropping one every, every couple of weeks, every two months. Um, it's going to be really cool. Like this is the start of it, and we're just having fun making music. I mean, there's no pressure to write something to a brief or any of that bullshit, which I fucking hate now. Mm. Um, but this is, yeah, this is cool. This is like a creative outlet for us. Yeah. And it's it's funny because the, the whole end of the world plague thing sort of helped kick it off. Right. Because it gave, well, me the time to work on it because I didn't have to go on DJ yeah. every weekend. And, yeah, exactly. You know, it's been really, in, in that sense, it's been really good as an artist to be able to create for art's sake again rather mm -hmm. than be on that on that mouse wheel where it's just like you're always doing the stuff for other people to get the money coming in you're oh, yeah. gigging you know yeah. which we love but like i'm just like well what we're gonna do it's mm -hmm. like it's funny because everyone was talking about like you know upskilling or like doing something different or like mm -hmm. and i was like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna double down on what i'm good at yeah. and let's start this kick this thing off proper yeah. yeah, and it's so it's been, it's been a it's been a godsend for us. It's more sort of in skilling than upskilling. <laughs> exactly, just getting yeah. to the stuff that you've been sitting on for such God. a long time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I feel really blessed to have the outlet. Like it's hashtag cool. blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah, good. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's it's literally like you know we're I'm, we're making tunes that we want to make. There's yeah. no we don't have any master. Mm. So to speak, you know. Best motivation is you're just having fun doing it, right? You just yeah. Well, it gives. Us, I mean, that's the thing. I think we're we're really good friends, so it gives us an gives us an opportunity to see more of each other and to actually be in the same place at the same time. Mm. I mean, we're at the same studio all the time, but we don't get to fucking see each other. Yeah, exactly. What's, we've what's we've both got that? kids and stuff now. Uh, so shout out to Studios Three Hundred One. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the house. That's it. Now your producer will be angry if I if I shout it out too much. So. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help having like? Australia's fucking mecca of music production to be in in order to create? Um, I would love to say yes. I think um, what helps is definitely what helps is being in a creative environment. Sure. Um, you know, and to be around creatives all the time um, doesn't change, doesn't change if you can't make time for yourself and make time for your own art. Mm. So, mm. I mean, I've been there for a very long time um, now. And if you don't make time for it, it's like one of those things you have to make time for it. 
Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we've got a question here from Sophie saying, where can they find that song? You can find that song everywhere. Um, go onto all of the streaming sites, your Spotify's, your Apple Music's, your YouTube's. Um, there's a fucking amazing clip as well that our my good friend JT Oh, yeah, we need together. to talk about that yes. clip. On love. Have yeah. you seen it? I have seen yeah. it. How good's yeah. the California yes. Games vibe? Can, and can and you I've, explain yeah. to, to our listeners who yes. are just listening, who yeah. aren't, uh, you know, they don't have any video you yeah. know, to accompany this audio. What 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 Use they, your imagination, What people. can they Come expect on. in this film clip? <laughs> uh, Eight-bit versions of us. <laughs> it's so good. I've is shared like about 30 kilos, which is awesome. <laughs> right. Um, no, basically there's an, old, there's an old video game that I used to play that when I was like a really little kid that called California Games. Right. There was one of those ones that had... I remember that. You know, you'd, you'd use the ASWD yes. and on the keyboard and like there'd be Commodore skateboarders 64. and like Commodore, <laughs> Commodore 64 kind of vibe. And it was, it was just so cool because it was sort of like the Olympics but for cool sports, wasn't it? I didn't know, was like skateboarding and... Like and if, you, if you were, you know, if you if you could afford a, an Atari or a Nintendo or whatever the fuck it was on, yeah, uh, <laughs> then you were a baller. I mean, like, I, I I know I went to to all the kids that owned that stuff's house to play it. And they were always <laughs> the, they were always the same kids that had like expensive chips and Nutella at lunch too. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? Oh, oh, they definitely had Nutella. Yeah, they, meals. It was always the rich kids with Shout Nutella. Out to they, probably, they probably had like um, fountain barbecue sauce in, instead of, like, <laughs> yeah, they oh, of some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. They had the one that was a, the, the, they had the red bottle one. Yeah. You know the one. Oh, our our, our kitchen was just That's all just black and white and no frills. Remember back in the day when I you did. could get no frills. I was twenty. So I was twenty when I realized that steak wasn't just meat. Like I, I remember I had a. Um, are you sure? <laughs> like I thought, like every cut of meat was a steak. Like I, I, I grew oh, up on like okay. shops so with T-bone gristle and, and t bones. I was like, yeah, awesome. steak. This is a steak. Yeah, yeah for right. sure. Like, no, I'm not, you heard I, it here first. <laughs> steak <laughs> is meat. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> truly enlightening. I'm going to make up a little like a little photo of Ronnie with a quote. Thy, Steak. Thy it's just a picture of a cow and just one big piece of meat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've no, but a, I feel you. I feel you. We've got a. We really here. got off. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a question here from James McRae, and he wants to know what artist are you most proud to have worked with? Ronnie. Um. Oh, how sweet. You guys, dude. What does he want? What does he owe you? You got no, something I, on you? No, we love we love working to, working together. Obviously, we we've okay. done so much stuff. We've actually yeah, we've had a whole bunch of really cool tracks. Um, for me on my side, um, I mean, I could I could name drop and be do that thing, but it's I mean, for me, I, okay. I wanted so, you to okay. name drop and me to come in and no, be. Yeah. Not, I'm not going to name drop. Yeah. I think yeah. for, for, for me, for me, say something really holistic. For me, growing up and know? being denied of like. Australian Idol when I was like 19, 20. Denied? And steak made of meat. <laughs> no, like, like when I was like 20 to right, actually okay. be like, go through that process and oh, be, okay, being yeah. in front of like Marsha Hines. Oh, you did it. And then like, you know, for like 15 years later to write an album and vocally produce that with her and oh, do all that sort of stuff was sick. like, oh, okay, cool. That's well, mad. that's kind of like a, that was really nice. Right. That was just really nice. You what does she mean? like to work with? Is she like the Serena Williams of the, you know, the music set here? <laughs> oh, Ma- shit. Was be- that too Marsha's much of a racial being around. Yeah, that was definitely a profile thing there. I can do, there, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Being <laughs> around Marsha is being like around, like being around Mother Earth. Whoa. Whoa. Like, oh. You know what? Like not having ever met her, I get that vibe. It's like no, she's definitely like, which is fu- which is really funny because at the end of the day, she's like <laughs> just a person as well, and likes and likes to do the shit that everyone does and like you know we being on tour with her we play up we do all that sort of stuff as well Mm -hmm. but it's like you know coming into that she's like the all-knowing wow the your pay just went up by the way yeah (laughs) no but like it's cool and then like over the years we've become really good friends and it's i'm loving your wife's comments by the way size you know like yeah wifey i love you nadia so yeah ronnie (laughs) ronnie is married uh sorry guys but his wife um nadia is uh popping up questions uh sorry that's not the first time she's used that is. the, that, the meat that emoji with that Ronnie like in mind. Oh, what is that? That's a, you know? is an emoji? A meat that's, emoji? That's all she thinks of you as. Oh, my God. Should have seen, yeah. should, you should have seen all the uh, COVID uh, memes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, we are going to cut to a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Before gonna, it gets worse. Yeah. We're going to keep uh, St. So Christoph and Shade on here because we've got some more viewer questions coming up. Oh, we've got to take a break because I need to piss. <laughs> Stick around. And a shout-out to the Starter Pod Presents. 
our home. Send in those questions, about everybody. Trade. That's right. If you're listening, you're watching, send in those questions. Send them in. Send in money if you got money. Oh, yeah, Ooh. do that. Definitely send in money. That. Or Nutella. Apparently, that's a, that's Nutella? a they need it. Or yes, steak. Nutella. Or Nutella. Steak. Oh, steaks, yes. <laughs> steak made of meat for Ronnie. <laughs> None of that fake and Beyond bacon. Burgers no. for me. <laughs> yeah, straight up. We'll be back, guys. Stick around. All right, peeps, we are back <laughs> on Forget About Dre. We have St. Christoph and Shade. Hi. We've got a couple of viewer <laughs> questions for these badass motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah, we've got one from Mitchell Thomas. What's the next couple of releases look like? What sound are they and do you have release schedule for them planned? He's a big fan. He is a big fan. We do have a, a single scheduled called Call In. Yeah, we've got a single scheduled probably, what, for the uh, 27th, I think, 27th of no, July. No, that's, that's a lie. That's a massive lie. <laughs> oh, no, that's the right answer. Yeah. Ronnie wasn't lying. I was lying about Ronnie lying. One of us tells the truth and one of us always <laughs> lies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are a riddle. <laughs> you know, it's, oh, and, and what, what, is the, what is the style? What yeah, is yeah. What kind of sound is it? Mm. It's, it's a hard one to explain. Uh, this one's very Kanye influenced, actually, with the production. And songwriting wise, it's got a sort of a gospel tip. Yeah. Did you yeah. say gospel? Gospel. I like that. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I'm very white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to say what I wanted to say about yeah, yeah. gospel. Oh, well, yeah, it's funny because when I sung the demo, it was, it was, yeah, it was embarrassing. <laughs> no, which is cool. Yeah. We got another question from Kyle Mercado. Uh, he wants to know when you're having a mental or creative block, what do you do to overcome this and how do you find new ideas? I actually like, dye my hair blonde. Ooh. Um, I get drunk. But. <laughs> No, I think, well, in all seriousness, I reckon when it comes to creativity, like I used to have that stupid idea that, you know, you just have to wait for the inspiration to come. Mm. And sometimes you do have to walk away, but I think you just have to work through it and like just like look, I look outside of music for inspiration when I get stuck. Right. You know, Um, and I think everyone can sort of attest to this, you know, and there's so much going on in the world. That, um, that that that's not hard to do at the moment, like for better or for worse. Me and sorry, sorry, no, I'm, I'm hijacking you. No, it, the car wants Ronnie. <laughs> oh shit! I'm a crush. Kyle Mercado is our new much? producer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I um, <laughs> love it. I mean, for me, I would I would use this really. I like to use really shitty analogies. Um, go for it. My shitty analogy of this show is is like look at songwriting like trying to go to fucking sleep. Oh, if you're in the zone, you're gonna fucking go to sleep. Yeah. If you're struggling, you need to get up, change your situation, and then have another attempt. What if I mean, you need like to piss. If like you need to piss, away, you go, go piss. And, while, and whilst you're whilst you're there, you might come up. I mean, I know that for us, when it when we get to a block, and I'm like, fuck, I can't. I literally leave, go to the bathroom, and then get some more inspiration. Come back, and I'm like, yo, I'm ready. Like, let's go. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but I've got the shortest attention span in the world. And, and I'm so time poor that it's like, we need to do this now. So if we don't finish this, um, you're never going to get a second verse. You've said yeah. that before. You said that if you're not like going in there and finishing it off, that like it's not a vibe. Yeah. I mean, I used to, as a songwriter, I mean, when I was just doing pure songwriting, I, I ha- you have to have a song done. If, if we aren't on a vibe in half an hour and if we don't have – if you're going to sit around and do chorus, chorus, chorus for four hours, you don't fucking need me. You literally don't need me. You yeah. can do that shit yourself. You can you can think about the chorus for the next year. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, just don't waste my time. It's yeah. just like if if you want to get in there and just at least come up with a top line for verse, chorus, verse, bridge, mm-hmm. and then fill in the blanks. Yeah, like but you skeleton. need to you need to have that by the end of the session. If not, you're just not making good use of your time. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah, yeah. So, so how, how did you do things differently? Like because you're friends, and you, you so as opposed to you working with other people. Because you're so close, can you do you interrupt each other, like cut each other off? And yeah. No, that's that, that's yeah, well, stupid there's idea. Five, there's there's n- yeah, fight. there's no, yeah, there's no, there's fight. no, yeah. And but at the same time too, that uh, on the other side of the coin is that there's so much in, in, in implicit trust that you just know that he's always going to bring his A game mm. uh, every time we get together. Anyway, so mm. it's. You know, it's just it's just we don't waste time with semantics and, po- and politeness. Yeah. You know? yeah. I was like, if it's not right, I'm just like, dude, no, fuck. Well, know? it's it's an honesty, <laughs> it's an honesty and trust thing, and I, mean, and I have the record button, so I, you know. <laughs> my biggest my biggest thing to any songwriter is if you consider yourself a songwriter, then finish the song because mm. you can always write another one. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I mean, you're not you're not working on a fucking sixteenth chapel. You don't have one shot. The at The sixteenth chapel. What, whatever. I'm How not. many? The um. I'm a there's a lot okay. of chapels. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. no, hundred percent. And you know, and, and, like, and, and, and too, it, like with with pop music, and I everything is pop music. Let's be honest. Unless you're writing some score shit, um, you can always 
reappropriate an idea for another thing. The amount of times that I've mm. had an idea that's just hit the wall, I've just left it on the hard drive, and then like even like years later, I've been like, mm. you know what? I fucking remember writing this one line, this one idea, this one concept, and just yeah. pull it in. You're like, that was meant to be here, you yeah. know? Like mm -hmm. sometimes and, those half-finished songs aren't a bad thing. Then yeah. yeah, exactly. Just yeah. leave it and don't make a con contrived thing a, a whole that isn't like really worth the value of its parts yeah. yeah i mean you know just leave it because you can use that somewhere else you know let, like yeah, yeah. let no creative idea go behind just yeah. finish it and you can always come back to it i mean like i made a career at one stage as a house house artist by placing top lines that i'd written three years yeah. before well you've had many hats shout out to mitch who's still working on one of those <laughs> yo mitch what up you know what i mean but still <laughs> so yeah well i had it yeah, yeah. sorry no, that's no, you cool. Go. You know what? I, I'm, I know there's a lot of people listening to this who's probably interested in the uh, advice that you guys might have mm. as far as young producers. So, you know, now you know, you've got so many different doors that these guys can use that are just so easy to create music. Mm. And, you know, you can, you can hear it in the contrived content that mm. you listen to on streaming services. What advice would you give to these guys coming up mm. to produce better quality music? Well, what I would like to instill in everyone that, um, that I work with is – like the way that I approach songs and, and like, because I'm lucky, like I recorded my first album on 16 inch tape, like when Pro Tools still cost like bloody 250 I mean, grand or something, child prodigy. you know, like, <laughs> um, and, and I think what is lost a lot today is what they used to call pre-production. And you'd know all about that. We used to like rehearse for a week before you go in and cut an album. Mm. So you don't go into the album green as fuck, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? And I think a lot of the times when I uh, like approach an a, a song now is like I do a lot of pre-production, but like you're either talking about it, you're either thinking about it and conceptualising the macro before you start worrying about the micro mm -hmm. and to know like to, to kind of map out a path and you let yourself go on tangents, you know, because you can do anything now with the computers, with, mm. you know, with Splice and, you know, you, you can you can get like infinite chord changes like for free for MIDI. Like you don't even have to yeah. know how to play the keys. Like... Mm. Um, but yeah, if you, you uh, I think it's important as a producer to conceptualize, and especially when you're working with singers and and musicians as well, to have a clear idea, like for, like act like you're the director of a film where you've, you're utilizing all these parts, but you know roughly what it needs to look like at the end. What the you know what I mean? Is, and yeah, yeah. and I think that that's so important before you start going in and just like throwing shit against the wall is. Um, let like go in and throw shit against the wall, but m make sure you 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 know what the four walls that you're throwing shit against are. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's the best way to do it. And you get such a better quality when you do that. Mm. That is invaluable knowledge. Oh, yeah, Chris, Chris, sorry, send me Saint some Christoph, money. <laughs> dropping knowledge, <laughs> Saint guys. Christoph. We're going to cut to another break. I want to do another shout out to the Starter Pod Presents. Now, after this break, we're going to do a segment called Request Line, and that is a song from you guys. We want you guys to decide a song that we are going to perform for you right now. Send them in. That's right. We're not going to practice this shit. Mm -hmm. We're going to just do it off the cuff for you. Do you guys want to stick around for this? Raw dog. There is a lot of musical <laughs> talent in this room Raw right now. And I'm loving this vibe. You might want to jump on those keys while DB's on that guitar. There's or no <laughs> way I'm playing the keys with Daryl Beaton in the room. <laughs> Send in your songs, ladies okay, and gentlemen. Okay, guys, forget about Dre. We're going to take a uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back. Yeah. All right, guys, I can't believe we're doing this. This is a segment that we've just come up with called Request Line, and now I'm fucking regretting it. We've just got a request. Oh my god! Hit me, baby, one more time by Britney Spears. What is what a banger? It is a banger. Banger. Did you bang? Are you so, oh, banger is in banging track, not banger. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Gemma no. Lyon is going to feel this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel have like we got Daryl's like guitar? I want to hear you sing this one though. Yeah, I can accompany. Yes. Have we got Daryl's guitar? Going All right. Through? Shout out yeah, to Simon is. McDermott for requesting yeah, this thanks, one. Simon. That was it. Us? That was yeah, it. Yeah, right. Let's, let's, we got let's, it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get there. Let's get, let's get. So, guys, if you're watching <laughs> and listening, please <laughs> keep those questions coming in. We have an incredible guest. She is burlesque winner, Miss New South Wales, Porcelain <laughs> Alice, coming up. <laughs> it's going to get so hot excited. in here. Oh, my God. My girlfriend's going to kill Lord. me. So, That's why I yes. wore latex. So if you have any questions 
for one of the most incredible burlesque dancers in the country. Yes, man. Keep them coming. But yes, right now, write those questions. we are gonna we're gonna attack this song. All right, request. No, actually, line. let me rephrase that. We're gonna destroy Yo. this song. <laughs> <laughs> that's so a bit. Excited. That's like '90s Scott Stapp oh, from Creed. <laughs> no, oh, baby, well, that, well, that idiot, the idiot that, that, that cheated on Gwen Stefani. Oh yes. What's him? <laughs> Gavin Rosdale. Yeah. Is that? Look what at this you? photograph. Is that that guy? No. no. Look at this <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was in Bush. That's my favourite He was in ever. Bush. All right, DB, you got, you got those chords? All right. Man, it's, it's yes, yeah. Say a prayer like for us. All, All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate guitar stands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, right. Kyle. Oh, <laughs> forgot about Dre. You need to be the, you need to be about Dre. The rapper over the top. All right, guys, let's give this a go. Yeah, all right. All right, there here we, we go. go. Request line. You're hearing this first on Forget About Dre. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Something wasn't right, baby. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. Oh. So look, now you're right outside. Tell me, baby, how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now. I hope because my loneliness is killing me. And I, I must confess. Still believe. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh. Uh, we got Who it. Who asked for this, guys? I'm gonna uh, oh, oh, baby, baby. Are we going to do another one? Are we going to... Was that enough? It's, it's never right. enough, Brittany. Come on. Sure. Oh. Says Justin. We're going? Oh, baby, baby. Up, boys? The reason I brave... It's you. <laughs> Boy, you got me blind, baby. Oh, pretty baby, there's nothing that I didn't do. Didn't do. And now you're right outside. Tell me, baby, how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now because my loneliness is killing me. Do I lose my mind? Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sick. A bit of jazz at the end. Rest in peace, Britney's career. That, you heard it first, Gemma Lyon, Daryl Beaton, Chris Arnott. Ronnie Harry wow. Anto, St. Christoph and Shay, baby. Shay. Thank you so much, boys. Thank, Thank you, you guys. for having us. Fucking awesome. I'm, I'm surprised I got through the whole thing without throwing any shade. Like that. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, you're not Ooh. knighted as sir yet. What a segue, but segue. We'll get there. <laughs> segue. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need you to send in some questions for us. We want you guys to send because in some questions. Who's, who's on next? Oh, because we have Miss Porcelain Alice joining us. Damn. She is a Miss Burlesque New South Wales winner for last year, 2019. We have so many things to talk about, so many wonderful, exciting things to talk about. So you better join us for that. You heard it. We'll be back. All right. Welcome back to Forget About Dre, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special guest this evening. Her name is Miss Porcelain Alice. And we uh, also have a very special birthday, our producer's birthday, Simon. He's sitting there in the front row seat. And we're going to begin this segment with a little uh, performance here by Miss Porcelain Alice. Here we go, baby. Hey. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good.
in the sea You know how I feel <laughs> Went through the trees, baby You know how I feel Oh, freedom is my life You know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day It's a new life because it's a bit spicy in here. We need to cool ourselves down. <laughs> Thank you so much to Startup Up Presents who are letting us do all these fantastic things today. We'll see you soon after the break for some questions. Make sure you send in some questions if you have any for Miss Porcelain. Alice, we'll see you soon after the break. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching Forget About Dre, <laughs> our amazing <laughs> burlesque artist here, Miss Porcelain oh, Alice. Incredible. Hey, team. <laughs> I'm just going to read you a little bit here because oh. I uh, just wanted to let the audience know who we've got here, who we, what we're working with. She's a curator and an event producer, <gasps> MC extraordinaire, bougie burlesque and sideshow babe, a master of teas and a mesmerizing snake dancer, specializing in bed of nails, broken glass walking, vintage fan dancing, flame manipulation, fire eating, breathing, and much, much more. Please welcome our last special guest for this evening, Porcelain Alice. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it's good you get to know me after you've seen me, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I, well, I was going to open with the first question. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what is burlesque, but I feel like you just showed us. Yeah, yeah. it was. Was that a yeah. perfect example of what burlesque is? Just grab a birthday boy and uh, get naked slowly on them. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I've never been paid for that. <laughs> um, yeah, burlesque is, it's, you know, it's a strip like, tease. You can do it, so. uh, Must get more naked. On people. On On people. Okay. All right. <laughs> not always. Not always. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I do that sometimes for free, but how did you decide that you, this was going to be something that you were going to make money from? Where did you start when you decided you loved burlesque? How did you, how did you begin? My friend is a, is a performer and so she's a singer and she was like, can you come and dance behind me in some lingerie? And I was like... Yeah, sure, perv. Uh, and then I really enjoyed it on stage and I was like, I feel so sexy. And then I found out people got paid to do that and I was like, I'm going to get paid to do that. That was really good. Uh, and then I found out I was garbage at it, of course, because, oh, I, you know, no. you've got to have, you've got to be sparkly. And you kind of, you've got, to, you've got to have a bit of a plan or you've at least got to know your moves or your song and you've got to tell a story and you just need to be in charge of your sexuality and, and know what you're doing. And I didn't know what I was doing, but I went away and I learned some skills some sideshow and so I added some danger to the striptease. Danger. Yeah, and I came back real sparkly and it's been my full-time job for five years. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. Right. And you won Miss Burlesque New South Wales last year. Yes, so tell us about that. Ah, that was pretty cool. I was very, 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 very scared, but I believed that I could do two acts and be really proud of them if they fit in a suitcase because I knew I could travel with them and make some money. That's so um, smart. <laughs> so that was the only plan I really had. And then when they called out my name, I'd actually already sat down to have a wine because I wasn't really believing that I'd win. And I was, you know, I was happy for my friends that were also in the competition. Uh, so they called my name and I didn't have any shoes on. And I was halfway through a wine. So I went out on stage with no shoes on, which is oh. not the glamorous porcelain Alice that I've tried to sell the world. <laughs> so I've got half a wine and no shoes. And I was like, it's me. You're Miss Bolesk, New South Wales. <laughs> it's me, bitches. You voted. Here I am. Yeah. So I am holding that title until November when, uh, you know, seven new babes will battle it out. And this time I get to judge them. So this oh. time I can be drunk and shoeless 
the whole time. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, here's a question the boys wish more people would ask them. Uh, <laughs> tell me more about your snake. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I am a snake mum. So I noticed all your terrariums here. I share a snake with another beautiful ballet performer called Diesel Darling. And she is a snake charmer from way back. And she actually taught me how to do it and how to care for them and not to be terrified. Uh, Basically, the way she did it was she said, could you hold this snake? (laughs) And um, I was like, that's cool. (laughs) And then, yeah, you actually get pretty used to it pretty quickly. I mean, that's a lie. Some people will never get used to it, but I really enjoyed it and I thought it was pretty mesmerising. And then, yeah, I just wanted to have my Britney moment. I saw yours earlier. That was phenomenal. Thanks. But bitch, don't come for me because I got a snake. (laughs) Have you ever had any crazy moments with that snake? No. 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 The only thing, honestly, is that I'm not very good at feeding her. So I will, like, throw around the mouse and be like, you believe it's alive. You believe it's dead. It's so dead. She's not very smart. And I'm there trying to fake it. And I'm usually the one that drops it in a huge panic and smashes my face on the glass because a lot of people tell the story where their snake smashes on the glass. No, it's just me. Do you have to feed it before (laughs) your performance or...? Um, no, because then, you know, you don't want to dance on a full belly. You don't want to do what I just did on a full belly. So she doesn't want to do that either. No, she doesn't that's want to enough. do a strip tease on a full no, belly. Snake care instructions. <laughs> they only eat once a month, so that's pretty oh. good. Oh. Yeah. One yeah. mouse? One, one, mouse? Ma- one mouse, correct, yes. Oh. Mm. That's wild. They don't do nothing. Very lazy animals. They don't need all the food. They're so right. when she gets it gets to come out, she's very excited. Oh, he? She? She. Oh, she. She, she gets Beatrix. very excited. Yeah, Beatrix. Oh, Beatrix. Beatrix. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I know, should have brought her, but she's not very Next friendly. Time. Yeah, she'll just wrap around in all this and oh, ruin dude. your stuff. We're, we're like so freaked out by snakes, so I'm kind of glad you did. <laughs> yeah, I would, have, I would have had to have put on the bravest of faces, but it wouldn't have been fun for my Such pants. Such a weird line of questioning then, team, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question from Libby McDermott. I think that is... Oh, no! <laughs> it's his mom. That's Simon's mom. Oh. Hi, mom. To, oh, hi, yeah, mom. She wants to know, how was my son as a client? It was very respectful. Oh. Oh. Lovely gentlemen um i'm, I'm going to be honest and say that i don't really do that a lot i don't oh, okay. do a lot of grinding yeah. on people but he just had such a great vibe i thought yeah. we'd just go for it right. and also apparently his girlfriend said yes it was okay that's so. it. we had to get approval for yes. that one yes oh that's Sorry. fantastic oh we've covered all the bases it's like so everyone's okay <laughs> consent all round <laughs> All right, well, we've talked about the snake, uh, but you perform some high-risk acts that include nails and broken glass and fire. I bet you've got some horror stories about that uh, and also, you know, how how did did you just – go about learning how to do that and then bringing them to obviously to the stage I bet that was interesting I'm gonna be straight up and say that I found out that if you do dangerous shit on stage get paid more money Wow! so that's what happened Uh, I started with glass eating and I found out really quickly that that yeah I was like (laughs) that sounds easy I know how to eat it's fine mind over matter Uh, and then my mum was like I paid for those teeth I made them and then I paid for them so I was like okay she's right the enamel all just disappears so we stopped the glass eating Um, so then I was like all right glass walking will be good and then I learned how to do splits on it stuff it and then I decided to do the splits on the glass um, and then I thought my vagina was in danger so I was just about to say is it actual glass or is it it like that sugar glass yeah no no it's real glass so the thing about sideshow is that it's all real so the stunts that you're doing are all real so I'm not a magician yeah exactly that's right friend I'm very environmental that's right (laughs) it's all real baby it's all real Uh, and the fire yeah I just thought it was really mesmerising when I saw it once someone doing it and I just mm. begged her to teach me until she finally did so I just stuck around you know and then I just wanted to yeah breathe it that was like my final frontier and it was really scary and I don't want to ever do it again <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we're> straight up <laughs> but you did it but you did it and now but I did it and if the price is right I'll do it okay <laughs> so what's your which one of those is your favourite to do what has the the, best, the biggest impact on your crowd and you, you, you I, dig doing it I think it. fire dancing so eating it and tracing it so just the kind of basically slowly as I strip tease every layer I take off I basically burn oh, so it's oh, like a, uh, you trace the fire along your body as you kind of reveal it <gasps> that's yeah. amazing yeah I like that sort of tells a, a bit of, of story yeah. <laughs> This is the only one I have left, okay? So I hope you liked it. All right? Simon, happy birthday. I'm wearing black. <laughs> it was a, it was a, had, you had arms on it before uh, the yeah. last performance and they're all gone. We've just had a question there from Daisy. She's saying, yeah. have you ever had an act go wrong? <laughs> yeah. Surely you've um, looked down and you've been story. like, oh. What's the wrongest? <laughs> the wrongest. Uh, I think 
honestly, it's usually about costume malfunction more Whatever. than sideshow because obviously mm. sideshow, I joke about it, but you do need to be pretty cautious and pretty safe when you are performing really high risk situations. Yeah. Um, so I think it's actually more just a costume thing. So, you know, you might just pop off your bra really early, 20 seconds into the act, and then you just got tits galore the whole time. And that might not sound like a problem, but for my line of work, that's a bummer because it's all about slow tees. Yes. So I've oh. kind of given away all the goods. Cut to the chase. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it's just sort of very boring. I'm sorry. It's just about costume reveal. and Because um, there's not, not much left after the boobies. Yes, exactly. It's, it's great if you're in a hurry. Yeah. Well, then I can turn around and be like, if I had a booty, this is where it would be. <laughs> oh, girl. So that takes up some time. Don't worry about uh, it. You, have, you definitely – I saw it. <laughs> It's we there. All saw oh, it. She's there. <laughs> Pretty sure all of it's Australia. It's delightful, saw it. Toshi. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my mum was watching this. <laughs> I got a great butt, mum. Be proud of me now. <laughs> I got it for my mama. <laughs> uh, right. So, where can we see yes. burlesque? So, apart from all of the very, very lucky, you know, people right viewers here. who were watching that, mm-hmm, uh, and mm-hmm. who can come to the, uh, you know, the Facebook page and continue to watch that over and over and over again. <laughs> if you like, I'm going to go home and watch it. I don't blame them. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Where can we go and see burlesque? Um, you know, is there many places? I mean, I'll perform anywhere that will have me. Evidently, um, but there is lots of places around Sydney actually that will have it. The Vanguard in Newtown has a lot of different shows. Yes. Some of them are mine, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's a bar called Employees Only. They've got burlesque dancers every weekend who actually hop up on the bar. So while you want to wine, they're going to show you a boob, wow. whether you like it or not. I like it. That's good. good. That's Sometimes, great. not so much. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you just? I just wanted to get. Are it. you serious? Just a sad blonk, please. Just a. Oh. Oh, um, I've never felt so loved. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I actually did a gig at the Bavarian Beer House once and I've never seen so many people just stare into their schnitzel and not make eye contact with me. And I was like, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> you will uh, look at them. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, yeah, I mean, COVID kind of happened and kind of killed a lot of places um, that burlesque has happened in because it is a bit of an interactive sport, as we saw. Yes. Uh, so it's kind of returning to stages that maybe, you know, are a little bit further away at the moment. So it's easing back in. But mm-hmm. it is. It is popping back up. Mm -hmm. There's a few places in Sydney that are, you know, going to have cabaret nights again. Just about looking for them, finding them. Mm. Could you do it online or is that like... I actually did my first Zoom show last oh, week. Did you? Yeah. That's so awesome. I'd been putting it off, I'll be honest, because I was kind of like, I think the, the magic is in the live performance Definitely. for burlesque a little bit, the energy in the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like, you just need one, you know, you just need one Simon to sit on to bring the energy up. <laughs> one so, Simon to sit on. But there he you was, go. I didn't know him <laughs> yet last week. So this was a problem. So I actually spent a few hours rearranging my lounge room to make it look really casual. And like, I just walked into a beautifully lit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> vintage S. Boudoir. Exactly, yeah. boudoir. Because um, I don't really like looking at showgirls in front of their Ikea. Um, kind of feel like it ruins the magic. Yeah, so I've seen enough of that with COVID. So but I, so um, many storage options. <laughs> Look, I'm not hating. I moved all my Ikea out of the room. That's what I was doing for two hours. Um, but it was it was a bit sad. It was kind of like a vortex. The energy kind of was sucked into the screen until I realised that I'd put it on the wrong mode and it was just my face. And I was oh. like, why is this happening? And then apparently you can change it to see all the people that were watching. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning curve. We're all learning those things, though, aren't we, with all exactly. of the Zoom chats and whatnot? <laughs> Thinking 100%. that the camera's off and then doing something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning, exactly. <laughs> Guys, we have to cut to a break, and I want you to please thank Porcelain <gasps> Alice. Thank you. For that incredible <laughs> performance. <laughs> and uh, where are you this weekend? I am at the Vanguard, actually. And Bam. yeah, <gasps> there you back. go. I'm back tomorrow night at the Royal Heart Review, which is my show that I produce and I also host it. So you just hear me. Oh my me goodness, can we get tickets? You cannot, it is sold out. Oh, so that's a good sign. Sock That's wonderful it. for you, though. <laughs> the next time. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Yeah, I'm very, very, very excited. So um, yeah, there's something coming up called Titans of Teas. If you do want to see some burlesque, I've got all these like award winning showgirls that are dedicating their time to raise some money for the Burlesque Hall of Fame, which is the only museum that actually celebrates and, you know, categories, categorises, sorry, um, burlesque history. It's in Las Vegas and obviously because of COVID, it's uh, been really hard hit. So we're coming together to take off all our clothes and raise some money for it. So yes. Titans of Teas, get online, come and see us. It's going to be sexy. <laughs> you heard it right here, guys. Porcelain Alice, <laughs> thank you. Thank we're going to cut to a break. I want to do another shout out to the Starter Pod Presents. Like the shit out of that Facebook page because that's where we live, guys. When we come back, we're going to do something fun. And yes, you heard a saxophone in in 
that performance. He's hiding. We're going to bring, his name's James Mackey. We're going to bring him back into this room and we're going to play a game where he's going to play some tunes and we're going to guess that. It's called... Sex Facts. Sex Facts. <laughs> I was like, oh, s- s- sex. Stick around, guys. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to Forget About Dre, guys. We are super excited because you heard, while Porcelain was performing, you heard saxophone in the background. That's right. And that was us. Exactly. And that is the sax professor of saxophony. Wow. Mr. James Mack. How are you, brother? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good, good. I noticed your uh, your mouth was pretty open that last segment. Hey, I resemble that comment. (laughs) Um, was it you who left the toilet seat up in the... What, here? Just oh. then, I just... Re- oh. I'm out of breath, but I just ran to go to the toilet and someone right. left the seat. I'm, I fell in. Oh. I fell in. It definitely wasn't in the ladies' Does either. that happen to... Girls, does that happen to you <laughs> as well? I just didn't look and I just went to sit down and I was like... Whoa! Fell right. Anyway, it wasn't you? Oh, sorry, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Got my breath back. <laughs> so we're going to play a game called Sax Facts. Yeah! Where we're going we're gonna to get a fun fact from James, and James is going to play a horn line, and we're going to guess that horn line. All right. Classic, iconic horn lines from James McKay. And is it, a, is it a competition? Do we first person to guess? Oh, yeah. no, we're going to let him Or I can do like one for you, like elimination. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, I like the way you think. Oh, He's good at this, guys, right. I know. I like that. All right. Oh, don't give me a one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start easy. Okay. okay. Please welcome James Mackey, guys. Okay. Mm. I get that right? First That's song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. First song. Okay. This is for Daryl. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Daryl. Daryl. Oh, man. It's Name and artist? Yeah. And year. Oh, and year go. it was written. <laughs> no, I'm that's it. Oh, I'm coming up. Nothing. Oh, that's horrible. I that's know okay. the answer. What do you Shut got? Up, go. Work it. Yeah. Beyonce. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Work it out. Work All it right. out, Beyonce. Yeah, work it out. Give us a fun fact about James. Fun fact about James. James was overseas on tour when Australia went into lockdown in March and closed its borders. Oh, shit. Yeah, How'd you times. cope with that? Uh, it was my whole band. It was 11 of us. Where were you? We were in New Zealand, which, oh, you know. Okay. It's not a bad time. Not a bad place. Yeah, yeah. There were less cases anywhere. there than in Australia. but um, Yeah, but still. <laughs> but, yeah, we had, we had to fly home. Like, we had to cancel. It was a probably, like, 15-show tour. We'd done, wow. we'd done the festival that we were there to do, which yep. was great. We'd played WOMAD in New Zealand. Wow. Um, so at least we got to do that, and that sort of paid for most of the tour. But we had to cancel, like, what, all but three shows. Out and of that, the 15. Which group oh is that? Because I know you're in a few things. Which, which one? Yeah, that's with a Hot Potato Band. It's a brass band I write yeah, for yeah, and play yeah, in. And yes. I've, I've heard I've, it. It's one of my favourite things. They are unbelievable. Yeah, you guys oh, are amazing. Okay, so do we have another sax line All right. from the maestro? Is it for me? For, yeah. Yeah, it's for you. Yours. Okay. I, know, I feel, I feel like, like you want to get mine. A harder one for Gemma. Oh, she's, oh. Yeah, she's good with the sax one point. Sang it. Yep. Um. <laughs> okay. No, damn it. Have you got another? I've got, got quick a, facts. We got another fun fact. Yeah. Quickly. James has a law. James has a law degree from Sydney Uni Law School. What? That's true. Oh, damn. True facts. Quick facts. Jesus. Is one of these going to be not true? Like <laughs> no, James <laughs> is a burlesque dancer. <laughs> <laughs> it's also James's wow. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you got a whole line for me, brother? Okay. I what do. you got? What you got? Go go go. Ooh. Look 
Look what just happened to me. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. I can show you the oh, world. For fuck's sake. I went greatest American hero, but. <laughs> 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 All right, quick fact That's about James. Oh. Oh. Try to please me. That's yeah. it, Billy Joel. Just Joel. the way you are, man. Okay. Billy Joel. That was brilliant. One more fan, uh, fun <laughs> fact, and let's do one more uh, sax line, and we're going to hit it and quit it. Okay, okay, okay. James has touched Taylor Swift for a good 60 seconds. Oh, shit. That's oh, all it takes from a bit of James, boy. I'm fucking jealous. That's all it takes. Oh, that's true. Damn. <laughs> all right. Just shake it all right, here we all go. Right. Last horn line. Okay. Let's see if you guys We're who ready. are listening We're can ready. pick this one. Um, I'll just accept as an answer what what this is from. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, it's going to be hard. <laughs> You know, but I love you so. Is that, is that, is, no, no. no. Oh. Do we have any correct rapture. answers on my comment? They're so sweet. It's not, it's not rapture. Oh, oh fuck, I'm terrible at this. What? All I know is Kelly I'll give you guys spot. a clue. I'll give you guys a clue. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, right, it's the sex Mr. Worldwide! No. Daryl? Daryl, you going? No, and isn't, isn't the guy that jumps up everywhere and does this theme? Is that It's the I, epic sax guy from Eurovision. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He's like really muscly. Oh. Yes, no and he sleeves. wears the muscle tees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, You're the damn. anti muscle sax guy. Can you please, <laughs> just oh, for, thanks. can you please, for my girlfriend who loves George Michael. Can okay. you please oh. play Careless oh, Whisper? Yeah. Yes. By the way, like preparing He's for like, this, no. <laughs> all sax songs, all sax solos start like this. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> oh. They all start with they that. They all do. Yeah. Here it is, though. Okay. okay. This is you, so. Sponsors, the Starter Pod presents. We're here every Wednesday night, six to eight, six to eight. Please, please thank all of our guests. Please thank James Maggie on the sax, Gemma Lyon, Daryl Beaton, Saint Christopher Shay, Talisa Ryder, Porcel and Alice. My name is Dre. What you got, baby? Bring it back. Oh, I love Sing it. Back to me. Oh, come on, baby. Bring it back. Bring it back. About Trey, give it up for James Mackey, guys. Fuck, that was incredible. Every Wednesday night, 6 to 8 p.m. Shout out to the Starter Pod Presents for having us and housing us and giving us this incredible space to, to live and breathe. Yes, and thank you so give much up for to Gemma everybody. Lyon, Daryl Beaton, my Good name is Trey. In. We'll see you next week, guys. Peace. <laughs> Bye.